coming up. It's happy hour on Hilton Head Island. Oh, look what it got me. I'm on Hilton Head Island, just off the coast of South Carolina. If you like to golf, you're in the right place. If you like beautiful beaches, you're in the right place. If you want something unbelievable to eat, follow me. This island may only be 60 square miles, but with hundreds of restaurants, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find my beach burger. Maybe even a couple of cocktails. I'm told the best place to go is the Black Marlin in Palmetto Marina, a place where you can dock your boat right by the bar. So what's going on, guys? I like it here already. The food's amazing, especially for happy hour. All of you that don't like to relax, don't like to have fun, yeah. go come. Right. <laughs> How are you? Great, welcome. Kim Keppel has been with Black Marlin since it dropped anchor here 10 years ago. Black Marlin, it was the first marina on Hilton Head. Yes. It has a lot of locals and tourists that join us every year. And our chef is Chris Cargi. He uses all local ingredients. I might have heard a whisper that Chris doesn't mind hanging around the bar after work. Yeah, he's been seen at the Hurricane Bar on a few occasions. The drinks can wait. There are burgers to be eaten. <laughs> Executive chef Chris Kaji may have his roots in Ohio, but his burger is 100% Oceanside. The pan seed shrimp burger. Tell me about the shrimp burger. Shrimp burgers are pretty big down here, so you got to take pride in your burger. When you think of a shrimp burger, most people would just go to the place of, well, they're going to grill some shrimp and stick it in a bun. I've been to a few places like that. <laughs> All very good. You're a liar. But we're, uh... You're a good liar, though. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me how you make the actual burger itself. So we're going to first start with our uh, red and green bell peppers. We cook those slightly. We go shrimp. What's the spice? Old Bay. A touch of panko breadcrumbs. And we use one egg for the binding agent. And we're going to go right in. Woohoo! That is one generous patty. Southern hospitality. <laughs> what else goes on? Tomato. Beautiful tomato. Very nice. Mm. So we serve it on a toasted brioche. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to speak with your mouth full? She did. Apologize to your mother. Sorry, Mom. The tartare sauce is made with mayo, white onions, sweet capers, lemon, parsley, and cornichons. Which are little pickles. Get it on. Wow. Add lettuce and tomato, and we're good to go. Look, it's got a heartbeat. <laughs> mm. We just won two awards. The messiest burger I've ever eaten. And <laughs> the most delicious shrimp burger I've ever put in my mouth. I had the shrimp burger, and it was amazing. I'm excited yeah. to see whether you can do a better job than I did, because I had it running right down my forearm. So much more civilized than me. Alas, man cannot live by shrimp burger alone. What's with the hurricanes? What's in them? There's rum. <laughs> Happy hour is in full swing. Time to play a little catch up. Cheers. What? <laughs> Thought I could drink before I came to Hilton Head. <laughs> happy hour without appetizers isn't very happy. The black melon, however, has you covered. Fries topped with shrimp tasso gravy. Or the frog more pho, a southern take on a classic Vietnamese noodle dish. And a dish that sounds, well, frankly horrible. When I hear raw fish and nachos, it's not like that match made in heaven. We sell thousands and thousands. All right, so first we'll start with our wontons. Okay. We poke holes into them so you'll have a nice flat nacho. We're gonna go right into the hot oil. So you got someone back there like this. Yes. They're like the wonton ninja. They're yes. just constantly poking holes in wonton skins. <laughs> All right, next, wasabi aioli. A little bit of wasabi. How am I doing, Shane? So we've done this before. Put this aside. The soy chili vinaigrette brings together classic Asian flavors. Chili paste, sesame oil, soy sauce, and scallions to add a little kick. Gorgeous. All right, so let's get our tuna going. They say the best way to cook tuna? Just don't cook it. All right, so I think we're good. We can come out of the pan. So wonton skins. We're doing some fancy nachos. So avocado, tuna. Soy chili vinaigrette. Mm-hmm. Wasabi aioli. Dab of pickled ginger. That's a beautiful looking dish. Cheers.
They're delicious. The perfect amount of crunch, the creamy avocado, the fish is super fresh, and it's packed full of flavor. You can taste the wasabi, you get the little pop of heat, just the perfect thing on a day like this. What do you think of these sushi nachos? It sounds so weird. Clean, crisp, fresh. It's like a salmon roll on a nacho. A salmon roll? <laughs> Delicious. Right, who wants a hurricane? Everyone knows island life is all about sunshine. But here at Black Marlin, it's always hurricane season. The double pull. Oh! Oh, look where it got me. Come on. I'd rather not, but thanks. That's not fair.